the news update. One of the canon can't remain in DSS dungeon. Order is released. Hype up tells judge. Do welcome to today's news. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell for more notifications. And you can as well share the news. The news details. The indigenous people of Biafra, Hype up. On Thursday, insisted that its leader, Onamde Kano, cannot continue to be in the dungeon of the Department of State Services, DSS. Hype up said Justice Binta Unyako of an Abuja Federal High Court should immediately order Kano, Kano's removal from DSS dungeon during the next court proceedings. The group noted that the judge should be blamed for DSS disobedience of court orders on Kano. A statement by IPOP spokesman, Ima Powerful, said Justice Unyako must order Kano's transfer from the DSS detention if she can't order his unconditional release. Powerful said, Following the continued disobedience of the order of a court of competent jurisdiction by the Nigerian DSS, we, the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, under the command and leadership of our great leader, Mazi Unam Dekano, wish to alert the international community about this brazen disregard to and desecration of the sanctity and sacredness of the judiciary by the DSS with impunity. It is compelling now to inquire into the reason why Justice Binta Unyanko has been indulging this contemptuous, <coughs> pardon, contemptuous each time report of disobedience to our courts, pardon, to our orders is brought to our attention in open court. It therefore goes to reason that the only explanation opposite in the circumstance of those grave infractions on the hardest of the court is the simple truth that Justice Binta Unyanko is acting the scripts of the federal government and the state security services. It is our demand that since Justice Binta Unyanko is incapacitated by circumstances beyond her control to enforce the very order she made, she should immediately remove Onye Dumazi Unam Dekano from the custody of the DSS without further delay at the next court date. Perpetual and continued disobedience to Justice Unyanko's order with impunity without being held accountable is the only reason why the infringement has become a ritual with no end in sight. It is to be noted that the DSS flouted with impunity all court orders made in favor of Mazi Unam Dekanu between 2015 and 2016, even when a federal high court ordered for his unconditional release. Still, they floated it. The disobedience of court orders is second nature to the lawless DSS. Justice Binta Unyanko is fully aware of the antecedent of the DSS, but still chose to remand and keep Mazi Unam Dekano in their solitary confinement, where her orders will be treated with levity and disdain. Instead, of remanding him at Kuje Correctional Center, Abuja, a statutory sanctioned place for the custody of people waiting for or facing trial. Justice Binta Unyako is to be blamed for this continued floating of court orders by the DSS. Her leader, Mazi Unam Dikanu, has not been convicted of any offense in Nigeria or elsewhere in the world 
he still enjoys his full constitutional rights as provided under the Constitution. Justice Minister Unyako must ensure that our leader, Mazi Unam Dikano, does not remain in the custody of the DSS if she cannot release him unconditionally in the next court sitting day of April 8, 2022. The news is all about Mazi Unam Dikano, the high pop leader, who has been in the DSS dungeon since 2021. He was extradited from Kenya to Nigeria. But the DSS, ever since the court, has given them orders concerning Mazuna Mbekano. The DSS have not been obeying the orders. And the high pop are telling the judge that since the DSS cannot obey the orders of the court, then the court should do something in making sure that the DSS faces a trial or is being taken to court. But it is as if Justice Binta Unyako is playing according to the script that was given to her by her slave masters that are in Abuja. The IPOB leader who via his lawyers had complained to the court, to Justice Bitaunia Court, that he has not been allowed to change his clothes, neither has he been allowed to practice his religion, nor his glasses has been, was, and, pardon, and his glasses have been taken away from him. The court gave the orders to the DSS that the IPOP leader should change his clothes Practice his religion should not be put in a solitary confinement. The people in the prison should also be able to rapport with him. But yet, the DSS does not obey the order. And the help of us saying, since the PDP, I pardon, the DSS could not obey the order and the court could not do anything, then they should make sure that Mazunam Dikanu is released from the DSS dungeon. Pardon. Even if they cannot release Mazuna de Kano unconditionally, but she should, it should be taken away. It should be transferred from the DSS detention, because the courts, a part on the DSS, has continued the disobedience of the order of a court. If it, it were normal people that were disobeying the order of a court, we know what the court would have done. Now this is a DSS. The court could not do anything. Is anyone above the law that the courts could not do anything to the DSS just because they are going against the law? What's your take concerning Justice Bitaun Yanko and the DSS? Are they working hand in hand or they are playing games? Can you share your thoughts? Thank you.